I want to welcome everyone to the celebration of accomplishment. I am Randy Ryan, the 11th president of Shadron State College. Today we gather for one of the oldest secular ceremonies in Western society, the conferring of academic degrees as a symbol of intellectual attainment. The robes we wear link today's ceremony with its medieval past and remind us of the importance of higher education. I am pleased that so many of you could join us today to celebrate our graduating class and to recognize the perseverance, hard work, and achievement of Shatter State College students. And I also encourage you to please come forward, family members, please come forward uh, to take photographs as your graduates walk across the stage. We will begin this event with a moment of reflection to be delivered by Ms. Maddie Churchill, who is graduating today with a Master of Arts in Education. Ms. Churchill is from Alliance, Nebraska. Maddie? Thank you, President Ryan. Um, President Randy Ryan, notable platform personnel, distinguished faculty, families, and fellow graduates. My name is Maddie Churchill, and I represent one of the many voices of this graduating class of 2018. Today, as I stand before you, I would like to say welcome to everyone, and thank you for celebrating this incredible day with us. I am honored and humbled to address you on behalf of the graduate commencement of, at Shadron State College. A graduation ceremony is a special occasion, a time of celebration, of contemplating a new chapter, and opening a door of our next adventures in life. As we move forward, we must all take into account the great amount of responsibility, mentalities, and attitudes that have brought us this far. We are now able to envision our future and what that may hold as we begin as a blank campus once again. Have you ever thought to yourself, you cannot paint, and paint it anyway? Was that negative voice silenced in the end? For Vincent Van Gogh it was, and this is exactly how I feel standing up here today. Through all the doubt, the worry, the anticipation, and the time spent, I can finally say that I feel accomplished. This feeling of accomplishment should not merely end, but let it be a beginning for us. We are able to use the knowledge, skills, and mindsets that we have gained throughout the past few years and put it to use as we begin painting the picture of our future. I have learned throughout this journey that you should surround yourself with those who are willing to provide you positive encouragement, those who will push you to succeed, and individuals that are painting their picture too. I truly believe that without goals, we are not going anywhere in life. And in order to reach those goals, we must paint day in and day out. Look around you. We see many different types of individuals with all encompassing circumstances in life. Each one of them has worked tremendously hard to be able to reach this milestone today. We are here to share our success stories and to also give thanks to the individuals who have supported us to accomplish such an immense achievement. My husband, kids, family, and friends are some of the main reasons I'm able to stand up here today. My husband once told me to never stop working toward your goals, no matter what it takes. He has motivated me and believed in me more than I have myself. He has shown me that with hard work, dedication, and sacrifices, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. I am not only painting this picture for myself, but for my family as well. Shadron State College, it is not just any college. It is part of my family. I have made many friends here along with professional relationships that will last a lifetime. The professors here have shown their commitment to create genuine, caring, and empathetic relationships with their students, along with their drive to instill us with the knowledge needed to, to generate a successful future. Leonardo da Vinci once said, I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Here we sit today, we have gone from having the urge to being willing, and now we must go out and do. It is time for all of us to go out there and paint our true picture. There are no more voices telling us that we can't because today marks the realization that we can 
and that we have. So what about our future? As we leave the campus today, perhaps we go our separate ways, but we must not lose sight of our purpose. Our life begins as a blank canvas in which we have the power to control what goes on it. From start to finish, each one of us today will provide a different touch to our paintings, whether it, it is our families, our jobs, our beliefs. We must let it lead us to the feeling of true contentment. As we graduate today, move into tomorrow, and prepare for our future, let us hold fast to the idea of surrounding ourselves with those who will empower us and push us to fulfill a lifetime of accomplishments. Encircle yourself with others who are painting their picture too. Give them support, impart your knowledge, and do it with confidence. As graduates, we are able to let go of the uncertainties and turn our dreams into a reality of satisfaction, gratitude, and triumph. So graduates and commencement attendees, I want to leave you all with a final thought. What does your future hold and what will your masterpiece look like? Thank you. Thank you, Maddie. We are gathered here today to honor the graduates of the class of 2018. However, it is important that we honor those people here today who have supported and encouraged you through the years. I would like to take a few minutes to recognize those people who made it possible for you to be here today. I would like to start by asking everyone in the audience who graduated from Shadron State to stand and be recognized. Grads? In many cases, the graduates who will walk across the stage today are the latest generation from families of multiple generations of CSC graduates. For some of you, you are the first generation in your family to graduate from Shadron State. Now, would all the parents of the graduates please stand? Parents? <laughs> grandparents of the graduates, would the grandparents please stand? The spouses of the graduates, would you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, friends, sweethearts uh, of the graduates, would you all please stand and be recognized? These are the folks that made it possible for our graduates to be standing before us today. The other very special people who have made it possible for the graduates to be here today are the faculty and the staff of Shadron State College. Would the faculty please stand and be recognized? And faculty, would you please remain standing? Would the staff of Shadron State College please stand and be recognized? The people standing before you have dedicated their talent and time to make it possible for us to celebrate here today. Thank you. You may be seated. Now I would like to introduce to you the distinguished individuals joining me as members of the platform party and please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Gary Bogansky, Chair of the Board of Trustees of the Nebraska State Colleges. Dr. Charles Snare, the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Patty Blundell, Professor of Education and today's commencement speaker. Ms. Melissa Mitchell, our Registrar. 
Dr. Joel Heyer, Dean of Business, Entrepreneurship, Applied in Mathematical Sciences and Sciences. Dr. James Margetts, Dean of Liberal Arts. And Dr. James Powell, Dean of Education, Human Performance, Counseling, Psychology, and Social Work. Please join me in recognizing these distinguished individuals. It is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Gary Bogansky to the podium to bring official greetings from the Board of Trustees of the Nebraska State Colleges. On behalf of the Board of, on behalf of the Nebraska State College System Board of Trustees, I bid you a good morning, and it is my privilege to welcome you, Dr. Ryan, faculty, staff, alumni, graduates, family, and friends to the 2018 Shadron State College Commencement Ceremony. I want to congratulate students here today on earning your graduate degree from Shadron State College to all of, for all of your hard work, determination, and effort who have arrived at this point. We celebrate one of the great milestones in your academic career. I also want to thank and congratulate all of those who have supported the students through their graduate work today and share in these accomplishments as well. Let us also take this opportunity to remind you, you must continue to learn and grow. Success is not a journey, not a destination, it is a journey. Recently, your graduate degree, receiving your graduate degree today does not signal an end, but a beginning of a long journey. It is what you do now after graduation that will determine your success in life. One of my favorite quotes is from Johann Wolfgang Goethe. It reminds us to take action to succeed rather than waiting and hoping. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Wishing is not enough. We must do. Keep this, wis this piece of wisdom close and you will become a better person who does the most with what you have and at the same time striving to become an even, even better version of yourself than you were yesterday. I invite you to stay connected with Shadron State College and be an active participant in alumni activities. Make Shadron State proud of being a hardworking, innovative, and committed. Be ethical in your future work. Lead a life of meaning and impact and be willing to make a difference. Being a member of the Board of Trustees for the Nebraska State College System, President Ryan, I invest you with the power and authority to grant these degrees to our great graduates of Shadron State College. Thank you. Our speaker today is Dr. Patty Blundell, Professor of Education. Patty enjoys developing new online courses, has given presentations about online teaching, and conducted research into the ways distance learning can benefit place-bound adults. Assessment and accreditation are also important to Patty. She served as the faculty coordinator preparing assessment data for accreditation visits by the National Council for Accreditation of Teacher Education and currently serves as a state and national reviewer for the Council for Accreditation of Ed Educator Preparation. Patty has been elected both Vice President and President of the Nebraska Association of Colleges for Teacher Education. She was a nominee for the CSC Teaching Excellence Award this year and brings to the classroom experience she has gained as a private consultant to school districts. This work has also given her an oppor the opportunity to influence Nebraska, the Nebraska Department of Education's evaluation practices for improving after-school programs. Patty has three children, Angie and her husband, Mike, and their two children, Will and Emma. They live in Harrisburg, South Dakota. Mike Blundell and his friend, Elena, they live in Beijing, China. Mike has earned a bachelor's and master's degree from CSC. Joy Weaver and her husband, Clay, 
who live in Rapid City, South Dakota, with their children, Ariana and Jalen. Joy has a bachelor's degree from CSC. Patty's parents, Don and Shirley Kay, are retired ranchers and live in Shadron. I am proud to invite Patty to the podium for the commencement address. Thank you. Patty? Good morning, um, Dr. Ryan, Mr. Bogansky, Dr. Snare, Dr. Heyer, Dr. Margetts, Dr. Powell, Ms. Mitchell, uh, faculty and staff, friends and family, and 2018 master's graduates. We welcome you very much here today to celebrate. <clears throat> Unlike normally, when I'm with um, the folks sitting in front, there will be no tests, no quizzes, no activities, no assessments, So, um, unless you're assessing me. So you can be relieved at that. Uh, we're here to celebrate your master's degree, an awesome accomplishment. Some of you, you might have noted, graduated from CSC before. For others, it might be your first visit to Shadron. In thinking about this morning, graduation is a time of looking back and looking forward. In that spirit, I've been thinking about Shadron State, its history and its future. As a graduate, you're now part of the history and you're a part of the future. You carry that CSC banner into the future. How did Shadron State begin? Well, if you've been to my office, that area, Old and Men, we have lots of pictures of that past. We have pictures of CSC students growing their own food up around where Hildreth Hall is now. The Shadron State started in 1911 as a normal school. That's a teacher's college. Teachers were needed in this newly, newly settled area that had a growing population. There were many influences that started the settling of this region. The fur trade, discovery of gold in the Black Hills, the expansion of the railroads west, but maybe the most influential, at least probably in my life, was the Homestead Act of 1862. The Homestead Act provided free land for those brave enough to move into the wide open spaces. I want to share just a bit of my personal connection to the Homestead Act. A teacher can't come without a visual aid, right? This paper is an original Homestead Act land paper. I wish you could see it up close. Wonderful penmanship must have been a requirement to work in the land office. This paper was from 1893, giving ownership to 160 acres of Dawes County, Nebraska. Dawes and Sioux County were all one area at that time. The land is actually located east of Agate Fossil Beds along the Niobrara River in what is now Sioux County. Um, the person, Mary Bell, was who, um, who had this homestead was a relative of my great-grandparents, John and Emma Kay. They eventually bought this land, as well as proving up on their own 1914 homestead. The Kays, like many homesteaders, seized the opportunity to own land. Nebraska author Willa Cather wrote in her book, O Pioneer, Pioneers, about the homesteaders and their trials. Cather's account emphasized their belief that the land was the most important thing. 
the land should be held onto at all costs. She also noted that the pioneers soon learned that farming methods and crops that had been successful in the old country or in the more eastern parts of the United States did not work on the plains. Many tried, many tried and failed at farming. Those who eventually were successful changed crops, farming methods, and acquired more land. The land papers from my K family show that their experience was very similar. More land was needed in the drier, higher areas of western Nebraska than what they had experienced in Iowa. First, my great-grandparents and later my grandparents bought more land from their neighbors, relatives, until they had enough pasture and hay for raising cattle, not for farming. Why do the experiences of the homesteaders matter to us today? Their experiences molded the values that are part of this region. The core values that can be traced throughout the history and development of Shadron State College. We currently are designated a frontier college. Did you know that? Meaning far and remote. If this is your first visit, you might have noticed that we are in the wide open spaces. If you are a child of the plains, you are comfortable with the 360 degree skies and sparsely populated areas. You might have even grown up in a family that holds on to the land at all costs. If you're a newcomer, the open spaces may seem a bit daunting or empty. CSC has grown and thrived since 1911. Students no longer are growing their food uh, south of Hildreth Hall, although with sustainable farming and food to table, maybe we should think about that. CSC has thrived because of the values that have shaped this region. These values are still important today. I believe the frontier pioneer values are also reflected in you, today's master's graduates. Let's take a look at a few of these frontier values. Adventure. Let's try something new. Can you imagine the 1800 farmer who said to his wife, oh, let's pick up and move to western Nebraska. There's nothing there. You had to have a sense of adventure. Homesteaders left more civilized places for a new adventure. Much like you might have signed up for online courses at a college you had never seen. You all embarked on the adventure of seeking a master's degree, perhaps not knowing if you had what it takes. Opportunity, what's out there? That idea keeps pushing us to make a better life. Homesteaders saw opportunity in being able to prove up and own their own land. You sought opportunity through earning a master's degree. Sacrifice. Living in the wide open high plains was not easy. Homesteaders sacrificed many comforts to try the new adventure. Like them, you and your families undoubtedly sacrificed many things to make a master's degree a reality. Hard work. Homesteaders worked hard to take care of the land, grow their crops, and raise their animals. You have spent countless hours studying 
and preparing those long assignments to earn your degrees. Perseverance, sticking to the land, required a tough spirit. Even today, this region is not an easy place to be successful. It requires tenacity, some call that stubbornness, and the ability to keep on going. Likewise, there are those who begin degree programs but do not finish. By your presence here today, we know that you have perseverance in, re in reaching an important goal. Adaptability, a key to success for the homesteaders was learning that they could not always rely on the tried and true, but had to develop new methods and ways of living to fit their environment. Likely to be successful in your classes, you encountered different ways of thinking and learned a flexible approach towards classmates and professors. As you take the next steps into your future, please contemplate the lessons learned from both the homesteaders and your experiences at CSC. Who knows what your adventure will be? I believe you are well prepared with knowledge and skills, but also with the values of an institution and a region equipping you to be ready to seek the next adventure. We are still far and remote. There are many empty spaces, but we have learned to seek adventure. We share in the ability to work hard, adapt, sacrifice, and persevere. These qualities will serve CSC well, it serves our graduates well, when the next opportunity arises. Once again, congratulations and best wishes in embracing the past and meeting the next challenge that comes your way. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, the students, and the administration, thank you, Dr. Blundell, for your inspiring words and for your many years of service to Shadron State College. <clears throat> Will the candidates for the Master of Arts in Education please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for the Master of Business Administration please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for the Master of Education please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for the Master in Science and Organizational Management please rise and remain standing? President Ryan, upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, and the academic deans, I recommend to you these candidates for conferring upon them the Master of Arts in Education, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, and the Master of Science in Organizational Management degrees. Thank you, Dr. Snare. By virtue of the authority vested in me as president of Shadron State College by the Board of Trustees of the Nebraska State Colleges, and upon the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I confer upon you the degrees of Master of Arts in Education, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, and Master of Science in Organizational Management, with all the rights, privileges, benefits, and responsibilities appertaining thereto.
The academic deans, Dr. Joel Heyer, Dr. James Margetts, and Dr. James Powell will assist with the hooding of the graduates, along with the candidate's advisor. Please come forward for your hooding and to receive your diplomas. Family members, feel free to come forward for photographs. Sandy Arnold, Master of Arts in Education, Mathematics, hooded by Dr. Beth Wentworth and assisted by Dr. Margetz. <laughs> Angela Woods, Master of Arts in Education, Mathematics. Veronica Bartlett, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling, hooded by Dr. Laura Gade. <laughs> Jimmy Lynn Courtney, Master of Arts in Education, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Zachary Bonus, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration, hooded by Dr. Don King. <laughs> Brian Schoening, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration, Mark D. Shaw, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Elementary, General Education. Don, we need, we need to train you a little bit better, I think. Yeah, okay. David Thrash, Master of Arts in Education. <laughs> Danelle Bird, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration. Hooded by Dr. Patty Blundell. <laughs> Ryland Arthur Cheney, 
Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration. Maddie Churchill, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling. Hooded by Dr. Kathleen Woods. Christopher Cooper, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling. Anita Ferguson, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Paulson, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling. Angela Marie Tetro, Master of Arts in Education, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. <laughs> Laura Van Housen, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling. Davina Fessler, Master of Arts in Education, Clinical Mental Health Counseling, hooded by Dr. Susan Schaefer. <laughs> Stacy Lynn Herman, Master of Arts in Education, Clinical Mental Health Counseling. Casey Shell, Master of Arts in Education, School Counseling. Caitlin Ann Fodi, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration, hooded by Dr. Lori Hun. Fosters, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration. <laughs> Mindy Pritchett McBride, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration.
Dylan Wentz, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration, and assisted by Dr. Joel Heyer. Megan Gipfert, Master of Art, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Elementary General Education. Ryan Province, Master of Arts in Education, Educational Administration, hooded by Dr. Karen Enos. <laughs> Jessica Hoffman, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Reading Specialist. <laughs> Maddie M. Rader, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Reading Specialist. Shelby Donlin Austin, Master of Business Administration, hooded by Dr. Jamie Haymaker. Barrett Brown, Master of Business Administration. George Feedy Jr., Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Dylan Furrier, Master of Business Administration. Jaden Jeffrey Lacey, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> Alan Leroy May, Master of Business Administration. Emma Thea Block, Master of Business Administration, hooded by Dr. Nathaniel Gallegos. <laughs> Kale Joseph Lytle, Master of Business Administration.
Paula Angelica Okrutna, Master of Business Administration. Brooke Allen Boger, Master of Business Administration, hooded by Gary Dusick. Jazz David Bosner, Master of Business Administration. Sylvia Alicious, Master of Business Administration. <laughs> April Pusateri, Master of Business Administration. Megan Anderson, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Special Education, hooded by Dr. Hank McCallum and assisted by Dean Powell. Caitlin Honkin, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Special Education. <laughs> Kylie Rainwater, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Special Education. <laughs> Chelsea Blair Ballard, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Human Services voted by Dr. Ronald Bowles. <laughs> Lacey Westlake, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Natural Resources. Chip Nathan Bartos, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Sports Management, hooded by Dr. Scott Ritson. <laughs> Henry Jean Jackson. Brianna Renee Phillips, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Sports Management. <laughs> J. 
Jessica Lee Stadola, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Sports Management. Lauren Nicole Brandt, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Human Services, hooded by Dr. Shonda French Collins. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth O'Leary, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Human Services. Brandy Vanderkamp, Master of Science in Organizational Management, Human Services. Let's have a final applause for the class of 216. Before we conclude today's commencement exercises, I would like to recognize and thank a few individuals who have contributed to this event. Our two student marshals, Ms. Ashley Goad is a member of the CSC chapter of Cardinal Key National Honorary Sorority, and Mr. Brandon Kyle, a member of the CSC chapter of Blue Key Honorary Fraternity. Ms. Maddie Churchill is the student who, will provide, who provided the opening moment of reflection, and the student providing the closing moment of reflection is Ms. Megan O'Leary of Omaha, Nebraska. Mr. Bobby Pace for providing the music, Mr. Alex Helmbrecht, Director of College Relations, Ms. Tina Cook, Marketing Coordinator, Ms. Colette Fernandez, and Ms. Mary Ann Mowry, our Graduate Office Staff, Ms. Melissa Mitchell, our Registrar, Ms. Shelley Jones, Coordinator of Conferencing, and Mr. Dale Grant, Vice President of Administration and Finance and the maintenance staff at Shatter State College. Um, I would also like to invite everyone in attendance to join us for a reception in honor of our graduates in the lobby immediately upon adjournment. Ms. Megan O'Leary will now give the closing moment of reflection. Megan graduated today with a Master of Science in Organizational Management. Megan? Good morning, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. We finally made it. We've accomplished something that most never will, the completion of a graduate degree. This is a remarkable accomplishment of immense significance. Years of commitment, late nights, and many obstacles have led us to this very moment. Throughout this experience, we have gained relationships and valuable learning experiences. When I arrived on the CSC campus six years ago to pursue my bachelor's degree, I was told to savor my time in college as it goes fast. As any typical 18-year-old would do, I didn't take this advice to heart or even believe it. Now, here we are six years later, as I'm receiving my master's degree and packing up to leave a place that I've called my home for the last six years. While earning my master's degree, I had the privilege of working as the graduate assistant for the big event. Through this experience, I was able to form relationships with many of our incredible community members. The relationships I have made throughout my time here are ones that I will cherish for the rest of my life. I have truly felt like a member of this supportive community in campus. Along the way, I have also gained a few valuable life lessons. So to close our ceremony today, I would like to share a few of the most important things that I have learned during my six years at Shatteron State College. First, always listen to the advice of those who have been in your shoes before. Never think you know it all. Always be willing to learn. There is always something valuable to be gained from the perspective of another person. We do not have the ability to grow in our professional or even personal lives if we do not listen to the ideas and criticisms of others. 
Second, be resilient. Sometimes the things that seem to be our biggest failures are actually the best lessons that will help fuel our biggest successes. The difference between success and failure is resiliency. Keep moving forward in the face of failure. Lastly, never, never settle or sell yourself short, whether it be in your personal or professional life. Always know what you deserve and what you are capable of. As cliche as it may sound, always believe in yourself and always have confidence in yourself. The late Steve Jobs once said, the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. We all have our own uniqueness that we can contribute. Use yours to your advantage. A special thank you also goes to everyone who has helped us achieve this accomplishment, whether it be parents, spouses, friends, advisors, and the many faculty and staff members at CSC. It is safe to say that many of us would not be standing here today without the support of those around us. Again, congratulations to our graduates. This is a remarkable achievement. You should be proud of yourselves. You earned it. It has been an honor to speak before you today. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Will the audience please rise and remain standing during the recessional while the graduates and the faculty exit. We are now adjourned. <laughs>